Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how can we handle web-based pop-ups using Selenium? Let me answer. First of all, whether Selenium can handle web-based pop-ups? The answer is yes. Selenium can automate, that is handle web-based pop-ups. How does this web-based pop-ups look like? Let me show you practically. For that, I'll open this browser. And uh, in the browser, I'll open this application URL. And on this application URL page, there is a link. When you click on the link, it will display a pop-up, okay? Web-based pop-up will be displayed You see, pop-up window. If you click on this link, it will display you this web-based. This is not a window-based, this is a web-based. Selenium can automate this web-based pop-ups. So how to handle such kind of uh, web-based pop-ups? Okay, there's a mechanism in Selenium to handle the windows when there are multiple windows. You see, this is the original window. From this window, a pop-up window came. Now we have two windows. So Selenium by default will stay in the original window. Now, in order to perform some activities on this new window, that is child window or pop-up window, we have to switch to that window. Okay, we have to make this Selenium switch from this window to this window. For that, we have some commands, okay? Switch to command is there. And uh, to get the IDs of these windows, this window and this window, we have get window handle and win get window handles commands. Okay, let me practically show you how to do that. So for that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID. I'll pick one of the tests uh, which I can run. Here, I would like to write uh, some Selenium code. That is, I'll be writing like this web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. And uh, here I'll write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get. I'll open the application URL here. The same application page URL I'll give and paste it here. Now here at this point, when I open this application URL, how many windows will be there? Only one window will be there. That original window will be there. So I can capture the ID, unique ID of this uh, okay window. That is original window. How to get that ID? Driver dot get window handle. Okay, since there will be only one window at this point of time, I can use dot get window handle. This will return you the window handle. Okay, so here I'll write print uh, parent window or some some name I'm giving. Okay, original window or parent window, whatever the name you want to give, just give that. Once you got the ID of the uh, parent window or original window here, now let's click on this uh, link. I'll inspect that link. Mostly it will be a link text. Just uh, copy this text between the tags. Come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot link text. Give the link text locator and say dot click. After you click on this link, what will happen? After you click on this link, there will be two windows now. This window and this window. Two windows will be there. So I want to capture window IDs of these two windows. Okay. So for that, I have to use command known as driver dot get window handles like this. It will return you a set of window IDs, set of strings, which are set of window IDs. So I'll say windows is equal to, okay, windows and hold the mouse and say create local variable. The return type will come automatically. Now you can write a for each loop for each and every window have string as the window ID, okay? String, uh, window, or win, colon, windows. Like this, I'll write down the code. For every window, you iterate, you iterate it, okay? And uh, you see, it is a set. It is returning your set means the order in which the window IDs are stored may be differing. Uh, first, it may store parent or may store pop-up window ID. We don't know in which order the uh, window IDs of this parent and uh, pop-up windows will be stored, we don't know, okay? So because it is set in Java, Java collection set, right? You know that uh, the whatever the values you are storing from here will be stored in some random order. So we don't know. First, uh, first window ID is a parent and second window is, we cannot think like that, okay? So we have to figure it out which window we are on, okay? For that, I simply write down driver dot switch to dot windows. Okay, this is a command, driver dot switch to dot window. And here, I have to give this win, okay? One of the window, we don't know whether it is a parent window we have switched to. We have we have switched some focus. We don't know. Uh, originally, the focus of the Selenium will be on the original window, parent window. From there, we want to switch to the child window, okay? But we don't know on which window we are. So simply we are switching. So we may be on still on the parent window also here. But how to find out whether there is a parent window or child window? I can write some logic here. If driver dot get title, okay? 
like this okay if driver dot get title dot equals if it is equal to the title of the child window what is the title of the child window basic web page title this part is the title of the child window okay basic web page title basic if it is equal to basic uh, web uh, page title okay so we call it okay if it is equal to basic web page title just check basic web page title right Pro perfectly written now here then we will perform the activities what activities we would like to do on this particular window let's say we would like to maximize this window okay just yes, to so see that we would like to maximize the window okay so driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then i'll just give some thread dot sleep here i'll give for like five seconds the program will hard for five seconds excuse me import this i mean um, add throws declaration and here write down driver dot close it will close the child window whatever the pop-up window because we are verifying the title right this title is matching that means we have switched to the here we have switched to the pop-up window and based on this title we are deciding that whatever the window we have switched to is a child window uh, that pop-up window or not and if we have switched really switched to the pop-up window then we are maximizing the window we are you know waiting for some time and then closing the browser closing the window okay now what is next after closing this after closing this, after maximizing this and after waiting for five seconds and after closing this, then how many windows are there? Only one window. Now I have to close this window. For that, there is a way. So this logic is fine. And after this, I'll write down here driver dot switch to dot window off. Here already I created, captured the parent window here. Okay. Only one window. ID will be there here. We know that it, the uh, window ID is nothing but parent window ID. I'll provide that here. And uh, here I'll say driver dot. I'll perform some activities here otherwise. Okay. Uh, driver dot. Uh, here I'll enter some text into the text area field. It has an ID. Copy this ID. After switching back to the parent window, I'll write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID of the, the text area field. The same sending is I'll give my name here. I'll enter my name. And uh, after that, I'll just give some timeline. Like uh, I'll just uh, make the program hard for some time. Let's say three seconds. And then I would like to beat the browser. Here also, let's uh, make it three seconds because it will wait for five seconds more time. Not, that's more, a lot of time. Okay. So, like this, I would like to, you know, here I have written the code for handling the windows. Okay. As you can see here. So I have switched between the pop-up window and parent window. Originally, the focus was there on the parent window. And uh, when the title matches, uh, after switching to a pop-up window, when the title matches, we have performed the operations on the pop-up window. After that, we have again switched back to the parent window and performed the activities on the parent window. Okay, this is the code we can write. So this is how we can handle or automate the windows, okay? Uh, that is web-based pop-up windows, okay, in Selenium. Run it. Then maximize, pop a window came. Just observe, it got maximized, closed. We went back to the parent window. It was very fast, right? Let's give it five seconds itself, okay? I thought it would be kind of slow, but uh, you know, it was very fast, so we didn't get much time. Let's run it again. Then observe the things now. Pop a window will come. After that, it will get maximized, then close. Okay, something happened where, you know, the, uh, I didn't see something. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Should take some time, right? Thread dot sleep, it's not taking. Here also thread dot sleep before closing, I mentioned, but it's not happening. It's passing though. Okay. Okay. Anyhow, 
let's now dig deep into this. Okay, so let me run for the last time. It's kind of a bit fast only still, but you can see that there will be some windows coming, switching is happening and all those stuff, okay? And maximize, striping and closing. Maybe this thread dot slip is not properly working here. That's okay. That's okay, but uh, you know, uh, it's switching between the windows, that's fine for us, okay? So that's all for this session. Hope you got the answer for this question that how can we handle web-based pop-up windows using Selenium, using this commands, get window handle, get window handles, and uh, another command is uh, driver dot uh, switch switch to dot window command. Another command we have used. Any other commands we have used? Switch to dot window. I think these are the commands we have used uh, for switching between the windows and uh, handling the web-based pop-up windows using Selenium. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.